The police commissioner and the city council speaker in a looming battle over broken windows. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. Tension tonight at City Hall. Council Speaker Marissa Mark Viverito is demanding changes to the crime-fighting philosophy made famous by Commissioner Bill Bratton, both denying any ill will, but as CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports, the proposal is causing some controversy tonight. The speaker wants to decriminalize minor offenses, including spitting on the sidewalk or having an open container of alcohol in public. Cops could only write tickets, not make arrests. Manhattanite Eric Rodriguez says, on the one hand, they should concentrate on bigger crimes. But the police commissioner says by going after the little stuff, you catch people wanted for the big stuff or prevent big stuff from happening. Could be true. It's the broken windows theory advanced for decades by Bill Branton. He spoke out on Friday. But under no circumstances will I, as police commissioner, support anything that weakens the ability of my officers to police and keep this city safe. Appearing with Reverend Al Sharpton Saturday, the city council speaker responded, referring to some of the pushback that is coming from our police commissioner. So I put the question to Melissa Mark Viverito. This has been portrayed as the police commissioner on one side, you on another side, and the mayor in the middle. How do you respond? No, we have conversations. We want to minimize uh, people's interaction with the criminal justice system. Branton says he's willing to listen, but reserving judgment on proposed reforms. Public affairs expert David Birdsell says while the speaker is trying to pull the mayor to the left on this issue, don't discount Branton. Because he is, in essence, the walking embodiment of Bill de Blasio's credibility to the extent that he has it with the police. The speaker says she'll be unwavering in her push for reform. It's clear Branton is ready to push back as he sees fit. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. A full reform of a full package of reform proposals for handling the low-level crime is expected to be introduced later this year.